Hi, I have had a really busy day because I actually had my grade 7 singing exam today so I'm a little bit sad, stressed because I don't think I did as well as I could have done which is a bit upsetting but it could have gone a lot worse so I guess that's a bonus. Um, yeah. Something that is noticeable. Yeah, I'm sorry I'm so weird, but basically I have a blog and I write personal things if you want to keep up to date with things I'm doing. And I'm going to show you my first favourite. Woo! If you follow my blog, this will be no surprise to you. And if you follow my Instagram as well, because I wear these all the time. And they are from the beautiful people at Style Edit. They kindly sent them to me to feature them. And oh dear lord, like I'm not just saying it, these are absolutely stunning shoes. Like, oh my babies. They are my favourite boots I think I've ever had. I like the colour. I don't know if you can see, like it's like a gorgeous ox blood, like yeah, and then it's got the snake skin stuff there and like this isn't a real zip this is a fake zip but you've got like the zip on the other side um yeah they're from style edit and i would really recommend style edit and um, i've got quite a few shoes from there now and they are such good quality like they're not just you know when you go into a shop and you look at the shoes and they're sort of like especially with heels they're the same heels but they just have them on more than one website it's not like that at all i've never seen the boots like this anywhere else and yeah, I just really love them. That, but yeah, I would definitely recommend these. And these are just so basically, this is one of my favourite nail varnishes I have, and it is the OPI um, nail lacquer. I think it's lacquer. I think that's how you say it. It's like this really gorgeous dark purple, and it just literally lasts forever I have been wearing this I know I'm not wearing it today but I have genuinely been wearing this for like weeks and weeks and it's not running out I've had this nail varnish for so long and do you want to know what's great about this I know they're quite pricey but I have found beauty in eBay oh my gosh I got this for like six pounds I think but I found so many links when I was looking the other night to get them for four pounds and they are the 15 mil bottles these aren't the mini bottles right the next two products are these two beauties now this one is the Nashi contouring brush and I also have their stippling brush and their angled detainer brush but my favorite one by far is definitely their contouring one it's just so soft and it really does make such a difference when I can't justify spending ridiculous amounts of money on brushes or so little and these are really good priced i'll leave the link below to their website and you can go have a gander and see what you think but um yeah if you're looking for any new makeup brushes um i would recommend these and i mean you can always send them back if they're not what you're expecting or anything like that but yeah nancy go check them out i have already mentioned this but i can't stress it enough how good it is oh <sighs> This is the Revolution palette. Um, it is in Iconic Redemption. It is the Redemption palette Iconic 2. It's so nice. I love it. Oh, I kind of feel weird for putting this in my favourites, but um, yeah. Oh, rhubarb and custard. I know that they're not everyone's cup of tea, but um, I love them. I love the custardy bit, and this I just noticed like how much this one is like custard. So where is it? Oh, hang on. The next one, I am literally just going to call it the fluff. Oh my god. I'm, I'm gonna have to put this on for you just so you can see the full effect of this coat. But it's from New Look and oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I'm so happy with it. Like I got it with a ridiculous discount. It cost me like um it was like £32 and it should have been 45 So this is my coat. I don't I don't even feel sorry for mentioning this. It's very fair, so don't don't make me feel bad. But Oh my god, I just felt like I'm bad. <laughs> oh my god, 
It's literally like one of my favourite things. I've never had a faux fur coat before, so I've just never experienced the fluff. And I had to mention it because, oh my god. I'm saying goodbye. Right, if you've seen my What's in My Bag video, you'll know that I have, I love using backpacks and this is a new thing for me. I have always been a handbag type of girl but really, oh my god, the difference. It doesn't hurt my back. So backpacks have been my new best friend and I don't really know what to do because I'm going to Barcelona in two weeks time and I don't know what bag to bring because my parents keep saying to me, you can't wear a backpack because if someone wants to steal your bag, they can just slit it off at like your bag. So I'm gonna have to carry a big heavy bag around on my shoulder. My current favorite is this one. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? Yeah, you can. Oh, it's so nice. It's by Nika and it, I think it retails at like 49 pounds or something like that. Um, it's A4 friendly, so if you are at school and you need a new bag, but you want it to last, you know, a couple of years or whatever, um, this bag is brilliant and you could fit folders in it. Um, and it's a backpack, so it won't hurt your back. Two more favorites, woo! Right, this one is of no surprise. It is a Soap and Glory product. I really love Soap and Glory. Um, this is their Sugar Crush range. Uh, before this, I had their exfoliator, and I think I do prefer the exfoliator to the body wash, but I've been using this every single day, and, well, pretty much, and I love it. Along with my Lush soaps, I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. I don't really know how to explain it. It's like limey and like zesty, but it's like wakes you up in the morning. What does it say? With lime oil, cool capsule. Okay. With lime oil, cool capsule, kiwi juice water, a skin softening, omega rich veggie oil. Oh, it's just so good. It says energy boosting citrus conditioning. It's just so lovely. Um, This is the last thing I'm going to show you. This is a dress that I got from Five Fashion UK. It is so gorgeous. It's sort of like modest, like it's kind of, you know, a bit edgy and cute. It's a shift dress, so it's just straight down. I don't know if you can see that. And it's not very long, but um, it's just so handy to put it with a pair of tights and put some boots on and just chuck a jacket on. I actually wore this on my blog with the fluffy coat and the red boots. Accidental, I swear. But um, yeah. yeah, yeah. I've got a blog post going up tonight which is of a gorgeous outfit featuring a jumpsuit and it is stunning, if I should say so myself. I absolutely love it. So if you want to see that, I'll leave the link below as well. Thank you for watching. If you did like this video, be sure to subscribe, like, comment. You know the drill, guys, you know the drill. Um, I'll leave all my links below. Be sure to come say hello. I'll be here. Bye. Subscribe. When was the first time you flew on an aeroplane? The first time I flew on an aeroplane was when I was three. I went to Ibiza. You can imagine how that went. <laughs>